All right, guys, we uh, put some markers down for different plates so that we don't mess around with the machine, moving the legs, moving the, the uh, feeder. So the only thing that you'll move is the plate, and then you'll have to wheel the, uh, the height. Sometimes you'll have to go up or down, depending on whether it's a breaking ball or not. But the, the markers, the two in the middle are fastballs, and these just give you an idea of the velocity that you're hitting on. Talk about the dials later, but it'll be six and a half, uh, six and a half, and ten. We'll, go, we'll talk about it later. But with those dial settings, this is going to be equivalent to about 87 mile on a fastball. So you can move a little bit forward so your back foot's on. It's only going to mess around with a little bit. And then as you move forward, this is a 93 mile an hour fastball. Okay? So just set up the plate on the center. The, the little square that we spray paint is going to be the center of the plate, set up, and this should be like the equivalent of hitting off a 93 mile fastball. All right, and then we got right handed and left handed breaking balls. Um, this is going to be, if the plate's right here, there's four. So it'll go the one that is farthest away from a right handed hitter. If that's the plate, that's going to be like a hanging breaking ball. If that's the plate, it's going to be like a two strike plate breaking ball. And then if you flip it, this is going to be the same left-handed wise. This is going to be left-handed two strike and left-handed hang. And the reason that is, is as the plate gets farther, you get closer to the pitch. It's going to, you're going to get it before it breaks away from you. Be able to hit it middle, maybe even pull it in the gap. As I move the plate back, now that same pitch from the machine is now starting here and breaking out. And I really got to stay on the baseball. And I'm going to end up hitting it the other way if I hit it well. Okay, and then the same thing, right-handed, right here, that's going to be two strike, stay inside it, line drives in the four hole, I move it over here, and then all of a sudden I'm trying to catch it clean before it breaks out. Alright, so you're just moving yourself around, but the thing is, don't just get a breaking ball and put the plate wherever, and then just make it kind of an average breaking ball. There's two different types of swings. If I'm working on the hanger, it's like a OO count, and I make this my plate, and I'm catching the ball clean, and then I'm working, I work back, and now I'm working on staying on the pitch, maybe fighting it off, or hitting a line drive the other way. All right, guys, now we're going to talk about the dials. This is now set up for my right handed breaking ball. It's at 10, 6, and the bottom, as you can see, there's a little C on it. You probably can't see it on the video, but there's a little C right there. That needs to be pointed straight down, okay? Facing straight down, 6, 10, C at the bottom. That's going to be your right-handed breaking ball, okay? And then the breaking ball, you're going to have to go a little bit higher because obviously it's breaking down. When we do left-handed breaking ball, we'll just switch it. Go 10, 6, and the bottom stays the same. And like I said, you're going to move where the plate is not necessarily mess around with moving this side to side because everything will get jacked up. Okay, and then for a fastball, we're going to go here. Uh, and then if we have it on six and a half, six and a half, that's going to be my equivalent to my 87 and my 93. If I go seven and seven, it's going to make it a little bit tougher. The ball's got a little bit more life to it. We do not shoot into the bucket. <laughs> oh. Hey, there's balls to be picked up. We could probably just leave the wheels going. I'm sure somebody else is going to come down here and hit. Nobody, we got to turn it off. we got to hit the little yellow button up here, and then just flip this off every time, and we're good for the next time. Oh. I probably shouldn't stand there while I'm dumping, because if I miss, the ball's going to fall down the, the ramp. What a chance is that? <laughs> 